testing laser engraving on a ThinkPad. Since I've never engraved laptops before, I thought I'd test engraving this dead ThinkPad. Now let's go find a suitable thing to engrave and the seal logo from Neongen's Evangelion should work fine since it's black and white. I thought about using the Nerv logo but that has a lot of surface area so we'll go with this instead. It also comes with a typo. Now that we have it in our favorite image editing program, Photoshop, we'll just go ahead and invert the colors, since the laser engraver wants to engrave the black parts and not the white ones. This way, will, this way it will be done a lot quicker, and it looks better too. Now we have the laptop in our epilogue laser engraver, or cutter. And then we go ahead and home the head to the correct point. And instead of, you know, actually locking the head there, we'll just, you know, go ahead and start engraving the wrong spot. Now that we reset at the right spot and locked it in, we can get to the actual work. Now, this whole process takes about five minutes, so we are not going to look it at the normal pace. Instead, we're going to speed up. Let's go see the results. It seems that there's some kind of weird uh, leftover stuff on the the seal logo. It kind of looks kind of smudgy. So this is why this is exactly the reason why I tried this on a dead thing first to see what kind of results I would get. Now I then used some paper to clean it, and it looks really good. And the funny thing is that the engraved part parts are now matte, while the rest of the cover is glossy which looks really f nice but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time